How's it going, you little arachnid? Spidey here, bringing you another roster from any video. But let's get right into this. I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible. I'm not gonna try and waste a lot of your guys' time. And with that, I'm just gonna try to make this like a 10 minute video, maybe. I don't know, but let's head right into this video. All right, to kick off hashtag Rostermania, well, for like, I, I don't know, but to kick, kick it off, we have E6 announcing their third and fourth, which was Parasite and Aqua. You know, everyone was like, wow, Aqua, Aqua, Aqua. Everyone knew, knew Parasite was going to because before the relegation tournament, he did say he was going to join them in the relegation tournament. But since he was in season two, he actually could not join them. And uh, it just turned into kind of like a poop storm. And it was just like, ah. Um, yeah, now Parasite's not even on a league team. I don't think E6 will buy a league spot. And if they did buy a league spot, it would be like TCMs maybe. And uh, I don't even think they want to sell their league spot. They're still looking for one. But um, yeah, I, I don't really see E6 buying a league spot. Plus, um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. And I hope you guys enjoy like all the pictures I'm putting. I got all the screenshots of every single tweet. I was like, let me be more informative. Everything. I just want to be really informative. And I wanted you guys to see the tweets so you wouldn't have to like freaking go on a safari hunt just to find the tweets. Because no one wants to go on a safari hunt just to find the tweets. Like, who wants to go on a safari hunt to find tweets? No one. No one. Alright. So, like I said, E6 announced their third and fourth. Their roster. It was, um, it was, uh, Emruez, General, Parasite, Aqua. And then probably about an hour or two later, Aqua tweets out that there was a misunderstanding and E6 took it the wrong way. He said... Um, he, he's trying to find a league team because that's like, that was going to be his, like his job, uh, the season three league. And, um, like E6 was kind of like a last resort kind of thing. It was, um, it was just, if he didn't find a, uh, if, if he didn't, he, if he couldn't get on a league team, then E6 was the last resort. He would just go like Dallas with them and the other events, just the event, like not the league events, obviously. But, um, and he would play like GB, UMG tourneys with them and stuff like that. But, um. And so, yes, uh, Aqua does tweet out that he will not be joining E6 unless that is, like, the last resort, unless no one picks him up to a league team or anything anything like that. And, you know, I, I kind of respect that decision. You know, I mean, that's, like, he's a young he's a young player, really young. He, uh, you know, he really got noticed at um, at the uh, at COD Champs or the, uh, what's it called, the, the event before, the qualifiers for COD Champs or something like that. I don't know, he got noticed there. And everyone started noticing he's a really good player, you know. And uh, he's a young gun. He's a Don. He's just really good at the game, guys. And, um, yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, let's head into this next change. All right, so we have, uh, we have TP. TP and Aches. Both of them. All right. TP tweets out, free agent for season three. The duo Prof Aches and I are looking for a season three team. Let us know if interested. That means the duo from EG or Complexity or Quantum or Quantum Leverage, they're coming back. They've been teaming for like three or four years. And then in AW, they split up. TP joined Optic Nation. Aix joined FaZe. Obviously, things aren't working out for him. Aix won uh, the first championship, Columbus, the very first AW event. He won that. And nothing is going his way. Same thing with team. He, they're just not getting good placings. Optic Nation, Envy. Things just are not working out in his favor, honestly, e for either of them. I mean, A still win the first event, but still, after that, what, he got, like, top 16 at Orlando. Uh, you know, just a lot. I mean, he got third champs, but still, things are not working in his favor. Same with team. So, they are going to join forces again, and they're going to try and find a league team together. And I think that's pretty awesome. I really like this duo. Um, it's a really awesome duo. I just, I, I, like, the, I like the team, man. I like that team. I don't. I have no idea if they'll find a season three team. If they do, I see them joining maybe like Rise trading uh, Chino and Wheats. Uh, Chino at X Games. I don't think he went positive one map. He probably had like a .5 KD. Um, Wheats. He's just like he's not the best player. He goes off at times. That is, yeah, he goes off at times. But um, it's just like Nezel and Theory. They work really well together. Teep and Ace work really well together. Two duos working really well together forms a pretty good team. And uh, I don't know how Neslo and Aix would work out. Um, I'm not really sure because if you remember the beginning of AW phase, uh, their roster was um, 
It was Sensor, Dito. Actually, no, no, no. It was Sensor, Aix, App, and Neslo. And uh, Neslo ended up leaving FaZe because of uh, Aix and stuff like that. Or Aix didn't like him. And I don't know. I don't know how that would work out. Maybe we will see them join Rise just for a season three spot. I don't know, but we will see in the future, guys. And I will keep you updated on all this roster media stuff. But um, all right, let's head right into the next thing. DT announces their new roster. They tweet out, "Happy to announce our new and only squad: DT Cinder, DT Pac-Man, DT Ivy." And DT Diabolic. If you guys remember at the relegation tournament, they had two teams that DT Blue, DT Purple. Uh, now they only have one team. I understand that you don't want to spend all that money on two teams, especially when they're not going to have the best placings. Uh, you know, this is a mixture of synergy and threes up. Um, uh, not the best team. It's all right. DT and I mean, it's um, Cinder and Diabolic from uh, from Threes Up and Pac Man from and Pac Man and Ivy from Synergy, and they kind of joined forces to make this new DT team. I really like Cinder. He, he's a good player. I like him. He's a little inconsistent at times, but I like Cinder just because I like that Noble squad and Ghost. I thought it was cool. Pac-Man, you know Pac-Man. I don't really know Ivy or Diabolic. I, I mean, I know them, but I like, I know them as pros, but I just don't really, I've never really seen them play that much. Um, you know, nothing too crazy about that team, but I don't know. I just threw it in there because of roster change. You know, why not? It's not a season three league team or anything like that. I was just like, let me throw it in there because I'm a cool cat, guys. And um, yeah, so let's head into this new NV roster. You guys heard me. Looney tweets out my new teammates, Jcap415, Octane, and Aqua. NV Octane, Aqua, and Jcap. So the new Envy roster is Looney, Octane, Aqua, J-Cap. I really like this squad. I really like it. The two young guns, Octane, Aqua, even Looney, he's pretty young. What, he went from Rise to TK to Envy? Like, that's awesome. Uh, you know, when I think when I say Envy, I think of Cap. Capper, Kappa, Kappa, da ba I don't know. I think of Kappa. Cap, I mean. Um, you know, and Ghost. Even Black Ops 2, he was on Envy. Um, oh, he was on Envy for, par like, partial in, uh, Blops 2. Uh, he was on Optic at one point. Yeah, in Black Ops 2. He was on Optic at one point, but he was on Envy and Ghost in Black Ops 2. And, yeah. So, I really like this new Envy squad. I think it will work really well together. Octane, great, uh, great AR. He's a statue. He's a tree, dude. He's literally a tree with arms and a gun. With a bow. He's a tree with arms and a bow in his hand. Uh, you got Cap. He's uh, he's kind of a hybrid, maybe a second AR, uh, maybe a uh, sub player, you know, whatever. And then you have a Looney, explosive, explosive uh, sub player. He's just a really good player in general. It, Lo Looney and Aqua, I think they're going to work really well together because they're both really aggressive sub players. And then you can have Cap with that, like, more passive sub or a second AR, obviously. And then you have Octane just watching over you. Because he's the tree, obviously. He's just saying top yellow. He turns into a tree, top yellow. No one shoots at him because he's like rock solid because he's a tree, you know. But uh, I really like this new Envy squad. Really good squad. And hashtag Looney doesn't mess. Yeah. So let's head into the new Elevate squad. You guys heard me. If you guys do remember, uh, freaking Temp and Temp left Elevate. And then TJ was dropped from Elevate. And that left Slack, Slacked and Classic looking for two. And then, you know, they pick up Saints and Apathy. I really like this squad, so the new Elevate roster is Slack, Classic, Saints, Apathy. I like this squad. The only flaw with it, though, is there's no AR player. I mean, Slack can play AR. He played AR at, um, at, at X Games. He played, he played a lot of AR at X Games, and he did a good job. But do you need that, like, just really passive statue? AR, like Octane, or like Clayster, like Formal, you need an AR, like those three players, you know, or Hugh for, I don't even know, like you, just those, those really, like just passive statue AR players, you need one of those, you don't really have one of those, uh, I mean, obviously Saints, he runs an AR from time to time, but he's more of an aggressive AR, uh, same thing with Slack, and... And App, obviously, he's like a really aggressive player, so you don't want to have him running AR. Same thing with Classic, he's kind of an aggressive player. Uh, the Classic's 
and Slack, Classic and Slack are a bit inconsistent at times. Same thing. Honestly, the whole team is pretty inconsistent at times, except for Saints. I don't think Saints has had a negative KD since the beginning of Ghost, and that's pretty impressive. But, uh, you know, Slack Classic app, I think uh, they're a little inconsistent at times. Like, app goes from a top three player to uh, not even the top 20. Like, it's just like that. He's not the best player. He's a really good player. Obviously, he wouldn't be picked up to a league team if he wasn't. But, um, but he's just a bit inconsistent at times. I like the new Elevate squad. I think it would be maybe, uh, maybe like a second place team. Maybe. Uh, there's going to be definitely a lot more teams to compete with instead of like, you know, just those first and second teams that are all, the only good teams. And then the, uh, and then the others just get railed by, you know, the top two teams. But now, you know, you have Elevate, you got FaZe, Optic, even Optic Nation. Um, Optic Nation needs to work on their stuff. I love the roster. Uh, I mean, I uh, honestly, I would trade two players, but that's just me. Um, but I like the Optic Nation roster in general. I really like Moach. He's my favorite play pro player. And I don't know, our roster mania kind of scares me a little bit. But this, this is the final season, so there's like, you know, you want a good placing for season three. It, it's not like it, it's meaning anything to Black Ops 3, but still, like, you, I don't know, you just want to do good in season three. And all these teams, they're going to have to step up. There's only a 22 match league. So, you know, there are only 22 matches. The usual leagues are 44 matches, I believe. And, um, you know, that's really crazy. Half, half the match is 22. These teams are going to have to step up. They're going to have to go volcano hot. Just like, da 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 da. Let's see if Optic can go 22 and 0 in the league. That'd be pretty sweet. But if you guys do, if you guys do enjoy the video, leave a like, subscribe, follow my social media. Links will be in the description below. It's been Jalen, guys. Peace out, guys.